This 13th century church in Buxted, Sussex is not the oldest thing in shot. The yew tree was there long before. Many churches in England were built next to ancient yew trees which are now presumed to have been sacred to the pagans of old. The Anglo-Saxons didn't associate the yew tree with graveyards like we do. They used it for all kinds of things, and it even had its own room. Hey yo, with Uten und Smether Trail, Heard, Crossen Fast, Hurde Furs, Ur Trummen und Refud, Un und Ethler. Some people even think Yggdrasil, the sacred ash of Norse mythology, was actually a yew. It was the only evergreen tree in Britain in those days, so it would have been a symbol of everlasting life. We're in northern Lithuania, near the border of Latvia, and we find one of the last surviving sites of pagan worship. And by surviving, I mean that this huge old oak here was uh, a cult site of worship of, this, of the thunder god Perkunas. Perkunas is very similar to Thor, he, he had a chariot driven by goats, he was a god of lightning and thunder, mountains and oak trees, just like uh, Thor, but also he um, was his cognate with the Finnish god Perkele. Who knows what kind of sacrifices took place at this same living tree. I mean, as recently as 500 years ago, Lithuanians were pagan and were gathering around this tree uh, in worship of Perkinas. Behind the oak you can see a church built on the site uh, of, this is the same kind of thing that happened in England in the Anglo-Saxon conversion about a thousand years before the Lithuanian conversion. We, the, they built on places where sacred trees were worshipped they build churches, and that's why we can tell usually when there's a very old tree by a church, it's probably the site of uh, cult worship. We make that assumption in Scandinavia and England, but it's not an assumption here in Lithuania. As we know, it definitely was and is a religious site, because Lithuanians today, although devoutly Catholic, still have something of a pagan in them. And uh, they've fenced off this area to protect their tree and they're still looking after it. Putting plastic tarp all in over uh, severed branches to prevent infection.